Hi there and welcome to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel on YouTube and today I'm going to show you how to do these kind of graphic-y Andy Warhol-ish kind of avatar images but uh, let's not talk about it let's do it okay well this is very different to what I normally do and um, I've got a piece of tracing paper and I got this picture on my light table I just Putting some tape down to keep the to make sure that the that, that the tracing paper stays in the same position all the time. And uh, this is a photograph here of my friend Yuri, who I met um, last summer, and he was also one of the winners of the YouTube Next Up competition. And he's a very talented young man. Uh, he has about three million ideas to everyone that I have. <laughs> and his brain just fizzes away all day long. And you may hear uh, the chainsaw going on in the background. <laughs> My neighbors having their tree cut down and there's nothing I can do about that, I'm afraid. So, uh, it's a very beautiful walnut tree that's coming down, but you just got a bit too big for a back garden now. So, or backyard, you might say. We say garden, back garden. And, um, so Yuri has uh, he has a YouTube channel. He has several YouTube channels. He's he comes from Holland, and um, he has one called Creative by Mind. One channel. And he said, "Could I do?" He said, "If I gave you this photograph, could I do a kind of an avatar picture that wasn't just a photo and just just a different, bit more interesting, really." And so I thought, well, I'll do that and I'll make a video of it at the same time. So you can go over and have a look at his <laughs> channel if you want. And get a different view of the world from Yuri, who does have a very different view of the world. And, um, oh, sorry, I keep bashing the camera here. And because I'm very tight in on this drawing. Um, I'm going to put a little bit like that there. And this is going to be the really difficult bit, is getting the eye right, because that's what you look at. And I don't know if that's going to work. I think this is all kind of experimentation. I tried doing an earlier one with a bigger picture and a bigger pen. And I found that quite difficult. And there's a kind of a line there, yeah. I'm going to do a bit of kind of shading in there. This should be filled in. Uh, and then the hair is quite difficult. So I'm going to just do a kind of a wiggle along the very tight together kind of wiggle along the um, the hairline there, just to make that quite dark. And again, kind of around there. Um, and then quite close together, these lines here, but then, and you want to flick back there. <laughs> I'm kind of making decisions as I go along, and I think all these decisions are based on just years and years of experience. And some people will go, oh, he's just tracing, and they'll get. They'll turn off. They'd have probably turned off by now, actually, because they're not willing to learn anything. Um, if if you think this is cheating and it's tracing, this is like... I'm not getting paid for this, but it's kind of like a commercial job. I've been asked to do something, so it's kind of a job. And I don't want to spend three days working on it. And And, you know, if you were given the job to do and somebody said, I'll pay you so much for it, you know, then you don't want to spend three days on it and only earn two dollars or two pounds or wherever you, whatever you earn, wherever you live. So you kind of learn these techniques which speed things up and allow you to do things really quickly and produce a good effect quickly. And tracing is one good way of doing that. I've already treated this slightly in Photoshop to, to bring out 
bring out the dark colours and make the, the lights disappear a bit. And um, and I'll do some more. I'll, I'll do some colouring in in Photoshop at the end as well. Like that, so and then I think we're going to want to. Um, there is kind of shading there, but I'm just going to put a little line there, and that's all I'm going to do. And I'll take that down to there, back there. Just yeah, just like that. There we go. And it's quite tricky deciding what to put in and what to leave out. I'm going all silent now because I'm having to think. Like that. And that's quite dark. His mouth is going to be really, really difficult. Uh, and he has a tiny little bit of uh, beard kind of ness there. And I'm not really going to know if this works until I turn the light out. Have a look. I think tracing is a really good thing if, you know, while you're learning to draw, because you, you kind of train your hand to follow lines. And I think it's a real shame tracing is just not done in schools anymore. And when I was a kid, Particularly, I remember in geography, geography and history, and we'd be asked to draw a map of a country that you know, we were studying. And uh, and you get some old toilet paper we used to use in those days. I think that's the shoulder there. And uh, toilet paper or greaseproof paper or tracing paper was very special if you got tracing paper. And um, and then by tracing around the edge of the country and putting in where the main cities are and things like that, you learned. And it kind of got ingrained into your mind and you, you got to learn this country. And nowadays in school, kids, they just get given a photocopy. So here kids, colour that in. And you're not gonna learn anything like that. So, uh, so I think tracing is a really, really good thing. And, and it's a really good way to learn um, because your hand just kind of learns these shapes and learns you know how how to move to make curves and shapes and learns how the light goes in hair and then eventually you can transpose all those things that you've learned from tracing into you know just life drawing and things like that so how is that looking I'll see it it's looking quite good. Huh? Um, I'm thinking that I'll put a little bit of shading up there. I think it needs a bit more there, and I am going to put some in there. Like that. And that will make it look much more drawn than if I put. If I just put um, a different colour in there, that'll make it look. Um, let me just put something there. If I just put colour in there, then that would make it look. Oh, timber! Oh, the trees come down. <laughs> and um, but if if I put kind of lines in there, it makes it look much more drawn rather than just kind of done on Photoshop. So I think I think that's pretty good. I'm going to shade all this in. And, and then I'm going to do some stuff on Photoshop, so I'll show you that now. Well, I had a request from Sunburn125 this week uh, asking if I could sort of show some Photoshop stuff. Well, this is a little bit here. Um, at the moment, I'm just filling in the black areas um, just to make it all black. And it's all, uh, I've scanned this in at 600 dots per inch in just black and white. And I've got to convert it to grayscale. And then I can extract all the black and cut it out and paste it again on its own layer so that I can have a transparent background. Uh, now if I put a new layer in underneath the black then I can uh, colour in with white like this and then the black kind of acts as a mask. And When that's all done then I can put in a new layer again <laughs> and just paint in the skin tones. Oh I was still in grey tone, yes grayscale. Paint in the 
skin tones in what I'm doing in this kind of old greeny gray kind of color like that. And then I put another layer in and put a slightly darker tint of that color in as kind of the shading area. And just kind of work my way through that and then kind of a bit of tidying up generally. And then what am I going to do? Well, I actually uh, recorded a soundtrack to this, but uh, the microphone wasn't switched on, so I'm having to do a voiceover <laughs> and remember what I did. I think this is just a bit of tidying up going on here. And I can see I've chosen blue, and what I want to do is to uh, make the eyes blue. And I made the background blue too, so I thought I'd have it all kind of match in a very kind of um, basic kind of uh, brilliant colours is what I wanted. But I'm just cleaning up a little bit of area in the eyes to uh, give me room to paint them and make them more obvious. So now I'll choose blue uh, and a blue brush and colour in those eyeballs. So that uh, gives me the, the kind of the look that I wanted and just a bit of tidying up around the edges. And there we go and uh, save all that. And then I thought I'd do a green version as well because I had suddenly decided I'm going to do an Andy Warhol kind of four different colours version of this just for fun. And then uh, Yuri can decide which one he likes best. Save it. And there you go. So here we have the finished thing. I've done it in four different colours in an Andy Warhol kind of way. And uh, Yuri can take whichever colour he likes. He can do whatever he likes with it, really. And um, But just for a bit of fun, I've gone and put it on a T-shirt for him. <laughs> I don't know what you think of that. <laughs> so... Uh, there you are. I hope you've learned a few things from watching this. And um, I probably won't be doing anything quite like this again for a while. Um, but in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Tracing, tracing, tracing. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.